So I, I'm assuming y'all watched the Tomb Raider trailer that I sent y'all. That look from Allie says she. No, 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 I, I did, I did. Okay. I, like I said, I'm very tired. I'm like, what about did the look I, for Rob? Do does it tell you? It looks like you haven't watched it. No. Lord God, man. We're not watching it now. We're discussing it. <laughs> we'll discuss it, and I will put my input where it needs to. Okay, so we we saw the first trailer, and I, I thought the first trailer did a pretty good job of like introducing what the movie was going to be like, mm-hmm. and I like that the movie is going to be close to the reboot of the Tomb Raider games mm-hmm. that happened uh, in the past several years, past like five six years, mm-hmm. um, but it did it in a weird way that felt wonky. Like it had like sound effects that didn't really go with what was going on. Like they were trying to like really force uh, the perspective that was, they were like, ah, it's a video game movie. Yeah. I, 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 cause I really did think that this was still the first trailer. I didn't know that this was. Yeah. It has a lot of the same footage as the first yeah. trailer. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, yeah. I don't remember that much. I'm still holding high hopes for this movie, but like you said, like, it's really trying to get you to think that like you're 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 Laura Croft in the game because mm-hmm. you do see her take a whooping, you yeah. Know, of, you know, on the boat, you know, going to land and you know having to fight those people and everything like that. Uh, I'm holding out hope because it, I think yeah. they can My- still do good, but I hope it's not like Doom or you know all those other. You know, even Assassin's Creed to a point, the movie. I never saw it, but I heard it was better than people thought it was. Uh, it, was it was way better than what it was supposed so, to be. I, I need to watch it. Yeah. Well, the second trailer did a better job. The editing was much better. They That's took good. out the weird sound effects that they were trying to put in there. And it actually established the relationship between Laura and her dad. And I think that is a huge part of what the Tomb Raider series yeah. is. It's always about her dad, um, you know, like him raising her to be who she is and everything. And they did a good job in the second trailer of conveying that yeah. and showing that there is this global threat called Trinity. And the way they cut it, it, it felt like a very small version of the movie. I think they gave a little bit too much away, in my oh, opinion. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much any trailer these days, yeah, Star right. Wars included. But the the main villain in this feels like you watch an 80s movie and you have like the main villain and then you have like the second in command and then you have the third in command. Mm-hmm. That's what he feels like, is yeah. like the third in command from an 80s movie. It doesn't feel like very threatening. Like he knows Lord, Cro- uh, Lord Croft or whatever, mm-hmm. um, but... It, he doesn't feel like imposing at all. Well, I ha- okay, I have, I have two things. First of all, uh, actually, I don't remember what the first thing was. On that, <laughs> she's got one thing. Yeah, I got one. Thing. <laughs> no, I, got, I had two things. I lost the first thing. Mm. Anyway, um, my theory for that is like if it does well, then they can like move up the chain. Yeah, yeah. It, it reminded me a lot of how James, the old James Bond's movies, uh, worked with Spectre and everything. Like they had different parts of Spectre, and it kind of moved mm-hmm. up to yeah. uh, the high-ranking guy. I can't remember the guy's name at this uh-huh. point in time. He had the cat, and he was like Gustav. Yeah, it, it's the guy that they based Doctor Evil on, pretty much. Um, but the thing that I, I saw in this movie that I really, really hope they convey is that first kill in the game. That that first kill with the bow and arrow and how Laura, like that was such an emotional moment in the game where she killed a person for the first time. And just the breakdown of that and like what that meant for that character. Yeah. Now, the rest of the game didn't convey that ever happening because she just went on a whole murdering well, streak. like, well, I did it once. I guess I got to keep doing it. Yeah. That that was a problem for a lot of people, but that first one, I remember that moment so vividly. I, I think it just leans more like, after that on the, the survival aspect mm-hmm. of it. Like, mm-hmm. it's literally you have to kill these people or they're going to kill yeah. you. Yeah. And I think once she got over that first kill... Which and I agree. I'm 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 hoping that that they push that the whole, you know, because I mean you're extinguishing the life out of somebody. It's a it's a it's a big deal. I yeah. Mean, that's yeah. I mean. But I, it's definitely the kill or be killed mentality yeah. in, the, in these games, and I hope it 
contrast to the movie as well. Yeah, and from the first trailer to the second trailer, it felt like there was a lot of they were trying to make it a suspense kind of suspenseful movie. This one felt closer to an action movie with actual like character development. Yeah. So I'm hopeful for it because the trailer showed me that there's more to it than what they were showing. I'm glad that they're bringing in elements from the rebooted games that makes me very very excited and that Laura is this intelligent be like being. I'm not even saying that she's this intelligent female like she is just awesome. She's genuinely intelligent like you see And her. she's a just going to kick butt the whole time. Yeah, like, like I'm excited. You see her be able to you know, undo these puzzles that, I mean, it's stomping some of the greatest minds, and, like, she's just over here, like, <laughs> yeah. Get Rex. And, like, the second game, I haven't played a ton of it, but as you explore the world, you'll find ruins that are in different languages, and the more you do that, like, whatever language it is, it will build up your understanding of that language throughout oh, the really game. Cool. So I doubt that that will be part of the movie or whatever, but I thought that was an awesome element of the game. And yes, we've talked about a game, but we're talking about a movie. Yeah. Um, now, you have... I was just about to say, speaking of movies coming from games, the uh, new Slenderman movie looks like trash. It looks so bad. Why? Like, okay, so the whole premise of Slenderman, like, you know, the original game, and I believe the creepy pasta surrounding it as well, is that you're in the woods, and it's a very suspenseful yeah. game. But, like, it's supposed to be that whole, like, you're alone, like he's constantly following you, and so it's just, it's that it's that feeling of yeah, like you're alone in the woods, you're wandering around, you don't know what's happening. The trailer, like it shows, it's like like you. At first, I was like, oh, this could be kind of cool because they show people going to the woods with the flashlights. It's all dark, and I'm like, okay, okay. Um, and then I'm like, oh, I'm waiting for them to show the note, and I, eventually they show the notes, but the notes are in some girl's like bedroom or something. But then that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no. Like the thing is, like, like the, they made the lore of Slenderman like go like way beyond this forest. I think it's supposed to be like some girl goes missing, and I don't know. There's like weird like black vines stuff. I don't know. But like it shows there's like a girl in like a chemistry class, and she's about to like stab her eye out with a scalpel. And I'm like, what? What is this? This isn't Slenderman. Like what? That is, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I, well, I haven't good played. Job, Sony. I haven't Sony. played Slenderman. I've watched a few people I've play. I've never it. personally played it either. Um, I, I don't. I don't know. Make any sense to me? It looks so bad. I, I mean, you've seen it in other video game, uh, movie mm -hmm. ad adaptations where they try to make it go outside the means of what made the game popular. It, yes, and it's like, uh, and and you you can't do that. Plus, there's already a lot of like negativity towards Slenderman as well yeah. with I all mean, the, you know, with. I mean, just the, 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 the two girls who, like, yeah, who, like stab who, their who, friend. Stab their friend because Slender Man told them to. You, well, I know it was because they were trying to summon him. Uh, I think. Well, what, what I mean, it doesn't really matter why. Like, I mean, it's just stuff like that. Just mm -hmm. kind of has put me off on the whole friend yeah. itself. Sure. Yeah. Well, and you look at video game movies as a whole, mm -hmm. there's very few that escape the stigma that is associated with it. Yeah. I think Hitman is probably the one that did the best. I haven't watched this Assassin's Creed I, movie. I would say Silent Hill. I haven't watched Silent Hill. I haven't, I've, I've, I've never seen it either. I've seen bits and pieces, but I know that it's, from from what I've, everything I've heard, it's very good. Hmm. So. I, I came in 10 minutes late to a friend's watching it, and I watched 45 minutes from there, and then we had to leave. So the 45 minutes that I watched of the Assassin's Creed movie, I liked it. I thought mm -hmm. it was interesting. I do want to go back and fully watch it. Yeah, I want to watch um, it. But like like you said, there's been very few. I mean, but we've seen a lot more that was just completely awful, and the mm -hmm. number one <laughs> is the Mario movie. That, I mean, <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Like... That one will forever <coughs> hold the, the 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 trophy of the worst mm -hmm. one. Doom was really bad. Like when they go to like first person, like that made me sick to myself. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I, and gosh, didn't gosh. Blood Rain get a movie as well? I think there was a Blood Rain movie. Uh, oh, Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia. Oh, that's right. I forget that movie exists all the time. It was okay. From, from what? Because I, I was young when I watched it. We were in high school, man. That's still young compared to what we are now. I yeah, know. I guess so. Like, because I was still hyped up on, on, on Prince of Persia, and I was like, oh, this is awesome. And like, it came on satellite a while back, and I was like, oh, okay. And I watched it, and I was like, 
The snake part was just dumb. Yeah. Like, I mean, it had some really cool moments, but for the most part, it was just an okay movie. Well, and you look at TV side of things, like the Link cartoon show <gasps> that they had. Oh, so like, like, well, excuse me, princess. Like, that's, that and the Mario movie is why Nintendo doesn't oh. want to make anything. Like, they're... Oh, they're very protective of their franchises. Yeah, and I understand why. Because the two that they kind of branched out onto failed miserably. Like, yeah. They were so far off the mark with all that. And speaking speaking of TV shows and uh, video games and everything, did y'all see that the Halo show is still a go for stars? I didn't know that it was still a go. Oh, yeah. They came back out like this past week and said... Guys, we are working with Steven Spielberg on this show still. I'm, I'm sure it'll, it's going to take them a while to make it just because of all the... Stories. Well, it's been like 10 years yeah. since they started talking about this. Has it really been 10 years? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's been quite some time. Like, Let us know in the comments how long it's been, but I think it's been about 10 years. It's like, I just assumed that it... I thought it was dead. I just assumed it got left somewhere in the I water. And, like, and from what you just told me, it's like... You know, I want to see it because they had uh, what was that Halo movie with like Jennifer Lawrence that was in it? Jennifer Lawrence wasn't in it. It was the girl from uh, <sighs> Narnia. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, you're talking about uh, what was that? I'm a look she was Captain Forward Dawn. Forward Unto Dawn. Yeah, Forward Unto Dawn. It wasn't a horrible movie. No, no, it was what good. Was I enjoyed it, especially because they didn't know what the Covenant was and everything, and they attacked that station. Like, it was done really well, yeah. and it established the characters before there was ever any kind of, like, alien attack. And then you got to see the Master Chief at the end. I thought that was really cool. And then they did uh, they did one that had Locke in it. I never watched it. Uh, it was for H- Halo Five and everything to establish his character, but I never watched it. Yeah, um, I wonder where it, where it would be sh- could be streamed. I, I remember it was on Xbox somewhere that you could stream it. It was like only on there, but I'm yeah. sure it's on YouTube by this point in time. Uh, so I'm curious to see what they do. They that. do if it ever comes out because that's been a really long time. Like, mm-hmm. If something, especially with like you know Steven Spielberg and stuff working on it, it should not take you eight, nine, ten years to to pump out you know a TV show. Half Life like, Cameron. Yeah. Like, I mean, which I doubt there's ever another Avatar. Like it just feels like he said, like he said he's making a bunch more. But here's the thing: like I recently saw like like I went back and saw a few clips from that movie. And like the people look good, but the some of the creatures look like garbage. They have not aged well. Mm. It's only like five years old. Came, came out, out in, right? or no? In the oh, it came out in like two thousand eight, two thousand nine. I was like, I thought we were still like either fresh out of high. School. I was right. I was like in my freshman year of college. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it was two thousand eight, two thousand nine. I think well, it was two thousand eight. Well. Yeah, All right, but you look at Jurassic Park. It's aged pretty well because it was practical effects. Yeah, and that's that's the big thing. Like that's, you, sorry. No, go ahead and go. Ahead. I just like that was my like my biggest thing with like Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogy. Like, yeah, I love the orcs in mm-hmm. Lord of the Rings. They looked phenomenal because it was all makeup, it was all practical effects, and then they CGI'd them all in, in the and Hobbit. they look like trash. And they look so bad. What? Well, I I was talking. Uh, I love it when I get like nerdy members at Pen Air because like, <laughs> like yesterday a guy came in with an Iron Fist shirt on him. You know we were talking about it and then we started, you know, talking about. It. I was like, you know, he's like, yeah, looking at what they've done CGI. He's like, Steppenwolf sucked, and and we look, we've we've seen Thanos. Thanos looks like crap. Like, crap. like when he was actually in makeup in Guardians of the Galaxy one, he looked awesome. Yeah. And, and I was telling him, I'm like, you would think that, you know, after all the the crap that, you know, we've given, like, because the, the nerds have given their feedback about yeah. how bad CGI looked. You, I wonder why they haven't thought, oh, let's, let's, let's go more practical instead of CGI. We can sprinkle some CGI in there, but yeah, don't, yeah. Let that, don't let that be the main fixture that you're mm-hmm. using. Let it be more like practical. Let it be more makeup. Yeah. Uh, and like you know, we were. I'm, 
it, it, it took me 10 minutes to open up his account, but it, we, we talked for 35, 40 minutes just yeah. about movies yeah. and stuff like that. And, like, I, we, you know, CGI is, it's helped in areas, but it's hurt us more in other areas. Like, yeah. I'm sorry. I, was like, I understand using CGI for, like, for animals and because, you know, like Jungle Book and Animal Rider on top. Yeah. And, like, for scenery and, like, a lo- and, you know, doing some stuff to, like, you know, fix some stuff here and there. Like, for example, in the Harry Potter movies, like, they flattened down uh, Ray Trina's, uh nose as much as possible, but then they went back to CGI to make it, like, totally flat. Yeah. And I, so I understand stuff like that. Like, CGI is very useful. But then, like, you look at all these classic movies like Jurassic Park and Star Wars and, like, the reason why they, like, they were so amazing at the time and still are is because it was because people found a way to create these awesome effects practically. Yeah, in the real world. Yeah. Yeah. And like you look at any any of these things, some of them are cheesy. Some practical effects are one hundred percent cheesy. Oh yeah, absolutely. But you love them. Yeah, <laughs> but when you go back and you look at bad CG, it 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 looks worse than a cheesy practical effect. Like, like I will admit, I did something I wasn't proud of. Mm. Um, two or three months ago. Mm-hmm. You watched Twilight again, didn't you? No, I want. I had because I still had the DVD of Green Lantern. I'm sorry. And I watched it, no. and like, all the way through. All the way, man. Through. No. <laughs> but like, like you just stay look on target. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I mean, I was making fun of it the entire time, but like, just mm-hmm. the, just looking at that, like mm-hmm. going back and watching the CGI and that, and it was just, I mean. Bad. Well, you look at The Force Awakens and you compare it to The Last Jedi. The Force Awakens did so much practical effect work. Yes, it and then go back to form. And then The Last Jedi is like, forget that. And then Canto Bite is like all CG. Yeah, and you're like, why does this look bad? That's I mean, why. Yeah. And we're going to go more in depth on that for our roundtable yeah. this month. How we're doing for this mm-hmm. channel is The Last Jedi.